Hey guys, so this will be a real quick speed test between these two. On the right, we have the Galaxy Note Fan Edition, aka Note 7, aka Zombie 7. This phone is back from the dead and it's alive and well. Very nice. And on the right, we have the Sony Xperia XE Premium. This phone has a Snapdragon 835, 4 gigs of RAM, and a whopping 4K display and a camera that can record in 960 frames per second. The Note, this one has the Exynos 8890 and 4 gigs of RAM. The back on the Xperia is just next level. I mean, that's a straight up mirror. Shiny AF. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on both at the same time and see which one has the faster boot up. Let's go. Samsung versus Sony. Should be a lot of fun. And the Note 7, pretty fast boot up. Waiting for the Sony. And we are in. Everything's been cleared out. There's nothing in the background, as you can see. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start launching a bunch of basic apps here. Your day-to-day -day apps. And just kind of check out how they perform. Give you an idea. Camera. Okay, we do have the calculator. We have the clock and a mistouch on the Sony. We'll do that again, just for fairness. Okay, I messed up again. Man, what's going on here? Okay, for real this time. Go. Here you go. Finally, third time's the charm, right? Okay, we do have the weather here. Okay, a little bit faster on the premium on that one. Let's see, Play Store. Okay, give that to the Sony. Okay, we'll click on this one. Okay, we'll just leave it right there. Amazon and Sony. A little bit faster here. Click on this item. And we'll just leave it there. Okay, we have Twitter. Where's Twitter? Twitter. Okay, both practically identical. Okay, we have speed test. And note seven. A bit faster on that one. Okay, now the browsing test. I have the Samsung Internet browser on the note and Chrome on the uh XZ Premium. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do a search for Acura NSX. Acura NSX 2017. Go to images just to give you an idea of the web browsing on both. Go back, gonna flick through this, gonna flick through that. So you can see. Both very similar performance. I don't think one is necessarily faster than the other. Here we go, we'll click on this one. Just give you an idea of the web browsing. There you have it. All right, now I'm gonna start opening some games. We have Mario Run installed on both phones.
as you can see the note just just a tad faster on that one We have the note going out in front here a little bit. The XZ catch up. Whoa, that was really quick. There we go. Next game. Let's see. Subway Surfers. And we have the premium here out in front a little bit. We'll tap the play and stop the game right there. And then let's see, we do have San Andreas GTA on both phones. We'll run this real quick. And you see, very similar on both. Note 7, slightly out in front. Okay, and we do have Snapchat on both phones also. All right, so let's take a look at the multitasking of both phones. Let's see how well optimized these two are. Okay, we just came from Snapchat, so I'm gonna go straight into GTA. Let's see. Subway Surfers. Good to go. Angry Birds. Okay, Mario Run. Okay, what do we have next? Okay, we have the browsers. There we go, ready to browse. Speed test. Okay, we have Twitter. Amazon, ready to go. Play Store. Okay, we're missing the weather on the notes. So we'll just erase that from the Sony. Clock. Calculator. Shout out to the OnePlus 5. Camera. Messaging, a little bit for refresh on the right. And the phone app. A little bit of a refresh on XE Premium. As you can see, both phones, generally speaking, performing very well. If you're considering either of these devices, I don't think you can go wrong. Both phones are really different. First of all, the builds are completely different. Sony here has a more of a squarish kind of build with chunky bezels. As you can see, while the Note has a curved display, has the S Pen, which offers all kinds of functionality. Sony XE Premium does have a 4K display and a camera that can take 960 frames per second. Note 7 doesn't have any of that, so it really depends on what you want out of the phone. You know, do you want S-Man functionality or do you want a 4K display and a crazy camera? You know, so it's really just, it's your choice. Whatever you want, whichever you go with, I don't think you can go wrong. Both phones, from a performance standpoint, perform very similarly. I don't think one's faster than the other necessarily. So you shouldn't have any worries about performance on both. It really depends on what you want. Do you want like, you know, S Pen functionality or do you want the 4K display, that crazy 960 frames per second camera? You know, you decide. But from a speed test standpoint, from performance, both are very similar. So hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think about this one. Are you a Samsung Knight or are you a Sony boy? Let me know in the comments below. I'll be creeping down there. Thanks for watching. Peace out.